Previously on the Emerald Chronicles. Let me ask you something. You are superhumans, right? Yeah. And you're attacking a defenseless human? Obviously, fool! What's your point? My point is that if you even lay a finger on this guy, I'll have no choice but to take you down. Whoa. His mood just went from peaceful to scary in mere seconds. What kind of superhuman is he? <laughs> so what you're saying is that you want to fight, huh? Fine, ninja dude, you're on! Go ahead, then. Attack me, if you dare. Before we begin, I want you to know that I won't go easy on either of you. Good, cause I won't either. Enough chit chat, let's fight! Let's get him, rush, rush! Come on guys, you said you wouldn't hold back. Show me what you got right here and now! Alright, let's begin! Laser beams! My turn! Ah! You're gonna have to try a little harder than that if you want to take me out. With pleasure! Come on, man, let's power up! Right. This should be interesting. Alright. Yes! Get him! Yes! Yes! Huh. Whoa. Your little tricks won't stop us from achieving our goal. Then it looks like I won't stop fighting either. Why are you defending that punk? He's nothing more than a racist jerk! So you're going after this guy because of his personal beliefs. Who the hell walks into a random town and starts bombarding us superhumans with various slurs? He deserves a good beating! Guys, as racist as you claim this guy was towards you, he was still professing his beliefs. Therefore, you have absolutely no right to go after him. <laughs> Like that matters to us. We'll take down anyone who's against us. <sighs> you know, I honestly had no intent of hurting either of you. Seriously. But it's people like you that make me very, very angry. Like we didn't know that already. You talk too much. Then allow my feet to do the talking. Come at me once more. Let's get him! People like you sicken me. Man, this guy's weird. Are you okay? Of course I am, fool. I could have handled those punks all by myself. If that's what you believe, then by all means, believe. I will. And if you'll excuse me, I'm going back to my hometown. 
I have no time for you and your stupid superhuman ways. Before you go, I'd like to know why you're so racist towards superhumans. None of your business, freak. Like I'd give you the time to hear me talk about my personal life. Pity. You didn't answer my question. Stupid superhuman. Hello. Ah! Stop following me! You didn't answer my question. <sighs> Got away. Not so fast. Ugh! What the hell? Listen, punk. I'm not telling you anything about me, so stop stalking me! I'm not stalking. I'm simply following without intent of pursuit. I don't care. Stop following me! Then kindly answer my question. Ugh! You want an answer? Fine. I'll give you an answer. If you beat me in a fight. It won't be fair if you don't know martial arts. Who said I didn't know? <sighs> Very well, then. We shall fight. Before we do that, I've got some conditions. First, no superpowers. Second, if I win, you have to stop following me. Got it? Understood. However, if I win, you have to answer my question. Alrighty then. Let's get this over with. Hmm, impressive. This is only the beginning. You ain't seen nothing yet. Then what are you waiting for? Come at me. With pleasure. Missed me. Hmm, very good. I'm not done yet. Hmm, I'm indeed impressed. But are you going to actually take me down, or are we just going to keep playing these little games? Why, you little- Ugh, You're gonna pay for that! Ugh, ah! Hmm. No, I'm not. Uh, I can't believe I let you beat me! M my skills were mimicked. Excuse me? Your fighting skills were indeed admirable, but I can tell you were mimicking moves. How did you figure that out? I have excellent perception, and can recognize many different techniques, especially when they're being mimicked. Interesting. Well, I guess you win. I'll answer your stupid question. You intrigue me. Are you gay or something? Forget the question and answer. Say what? Why? As I said before, you intrigue me. I'd like it if you'd join me on my journey of enlightenment. Me? Why would you want an obvious racist alongside you? I honestly don't care about your belief. I only care about what's on the inside. There's some good inside of you, and I'd like to explore that. Not only that, I want to show you all of the great things Super Central has to offer while teaching you the real versions of those mimic techniques of yours. You do all of that? For me? Absolutely. But only if you join me on this journey. It's up to you. Uh, I accept your offer. I don't know what I just got myself into, but I'm starting to like you, so bring it on! However, this doesn't change my feelings towards superhumans. <laughs> I figured as much. By the way, my name is Isaac Winters. I'm Ren Summers. Shall we begin our journey together, Ren? Yeah, let's go already! Hmm. <laughs> yes! Hmm... Let's see what they're up to. I can't wait to eliminate some superhumans. Same here. This ride is going to rock. Those filthy superhumans won't see it coming. <gasps> I see the helicopter! Everyone, prepare yourselves and get into your proper positions! Huh. <sighs> 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 Greetings, soldiers. Greetings, Master Atari! So you're Atari Strange, huh? You're an interesting fellow indeed. Perfect. The killing rite can finally begin. To all of you superhumans who've involuntarily joined us tonight, I hope you've said your final words, because by the time I'm done with you, you'll be dead. <laughs> First, I'll remove your precious powers, and then I'll burn all of you without hesitation! 
I refuse to allow that. <sighs> Time to begin. Hold it! There will be no burning tonight. I demand that you stop this immediately, or I'll be forced to take action. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Isaac. You're just the guy I wanted to see. Y you know who I am? You have no idea. Also, to answer your question, I refuse to stop. If you don't cease fire, then I'd be happy to take you on in order to prevent any bloodshed. Very well, ninja boy. But before we do, how about we make a wager? I'll stop what I'm doing if you defeat me. Do we have a deal? I accept your wager, but when I win, you must also turn yourself in and end this revolution for good. <laughs> Very well, Isaac. Now let's get this fight started. You can go first. Attack me, if you dare. I most certainly will. <laughs> You're pretty fast. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> You're gonna have to try a little harder than that, Isaac. Oh, don't you worry, I will. <laughs> I don't understand. Where did you learn those techniques from? I'm surprised you haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> you really are pathetic, if not slightly stupid. Could he be who I think it is? No! He's dead, you fool. You killed him, and don't you forget it. Whoever this guy is obviously learned some of the best martial arts like myself. No matter! I shall defeat him and end this revolution. Following Isaac and Ren's agreement, their journey of enlightenment lasted for two years. Seriously? How long does a journey of enlightenment last overall? Depends on what the traveler is in search of. Anyways, after the two year journey, Isaac and Ren went to United Emerald City. Isaac had taken over his dad's dojo and gave Ren a job. The pair ended up working together for a while. And that is how you do a spin kick. Alright, that's all we have for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Mr. Winters. Bye, see you later. Ah, such lovely youngsters. They're going to turn out to be great martial artists one day. Hey, Isaac, I need your help. Sure, what is it? You know how you taught me some nifty techniques a while back? Yes, I do. What's your point? I want to learn more. Really? Why so sudden? Because I'm tired of being helpless. I no longer want to be a weakling. I want you to help me become a great martial artist. Will you help me? Ren, I'd be honored to train you. If you're willing to withstand three years of hardcore training, then I'll make sure you'll become a great martial artist. Challenge accepted. When do we start? We start now. Prepare yourself for some serious workouts. I'm ready. So for the next three years, Isaac did exactly what Ren wanted. The pair spent most of their days engaging in serious training regiments. Ren eventually became a great martial artist and grew closer to Isaac as a friend. Three years is all it took? Dang, son. That's pretty quick. Isaac is a fast trainer. He's also the hardest of them all. Back on topic. Three years had passed, and life seemed pretty good. That is, until Isaac had learned about an unfortunate truth on one faithful day. Alright, Isaac, let's try this again. Yes! Okay, let's get a little more complicated. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, still got it, Isaac. Even in your thirties. Huh? Now who could that be? Uh -huh. Vandal? What are you doing here? I told you I'd make my final decision about teaching another year of basic combat next week. Isaac, that's not why I'm here. I need your help with something. Specifics, please. 
Well, according to a reliable source, there's a growing revolution going on, and it's against superhumans. An anti-superhuman revolution? Sounds pretty odd. Why are you telling me this? Because I need your help. I want to investigate this potential threat and see what we're up against. I refuse to go alone, and you're the only other person I trust as a partner. <sighs> Vandal, you have to be able to trust someone. Besides, I don't want to leave the dojo behind until Ren gets back from his walk. Come on, Isaac. I know you want to check this out. It'll be nothing more than a simple covert mission. No fighting unless necessary. Covert, you say? Fine. I'll tag along, but we'll do it later on tonight after I close the dojo. In the meantime, you should find a shirt and keep it on. If only my abilities allowed it. <laughs> I'll see you later on tonight. Meet me at the academy entrance, and I'll lead the way from there. Is there a reason why you've still decided to wear no shirt? This is a covert mission, after all. Do you think it's easy wielding titanium? My shirts tend to tear up, so I remain shirtless. It's really no big deal. It will be when you get older. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind that. Let's get this mission over with. Okay, sure thing. Just follow me and I'll show you where this revolution is brewing. Yeah. Now remember that our goal is to gather info from this ceremony. No unnecessary action. I'm well aware of the task at hand, but refuse to hold back should we get exposed. Fair enough. Let's get down there and head inside. The ceremony is about to start. These posters exhibit words of hate. Powerful words, too. Whoever started this stupid revolution clearly has a strong sense of influence. I think we're about to find out who this man of influence is. Here he goes, here he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Greetings to all of you who's ready to take down some superhumans. Yeah! That's what I wanted to hear. <gasps> no way! It, it, it can't be! I, I... I... I don't believe this. Ren is the leader? Isaac, are you okay? How could you? Greetings to all of you loyal followers. Tonight is the start of our big plan. To eliminate all superhumans! Join me, Rand Summers, on a journey to reclaim what's rightfully ours! Rand... My friend... What have you done?
can't believe it. Friend started the revolution? I've got to know what happens next, son. Patience, Andy. Next episode will reveal the finale to this shocking flashback. Shouldn't you also be worried about Mr. Winters? Oh crap, I forgot he's facing Atari head on. For real? Dang, son, that's tight. Next, next time, time, the Tears of a Ninja. Ninja. See you guys next time on the Emerald Chronicles.